Hi guys, this is Pano. Um, today I want to make a, like a more permanent uh, kind of cabin, little shelter. Uh, so I'm gonna, I picked this area over here. I'm gonna get to clean up the wood from the ground and use that. And I'm gonna go cut some more. Uh, the items I brought with me is a silky pocket boy, curved and an axe, mini forest axe, Grunts for uh, Brooks. And I also brought the Katana Boy 650. So they're both brand new, I'm gonna be trying them. And of course I brought a knife, my uh, um, Northern Woodsman. Um, they're all, the saws are brand new, I'm gonna try them and kinda review them at the end when I'm done. And uh, it's not going to be too much talking on this video because I want to just make it as short as possible. Hopefully I can do it in two takes, two videos. Um, so well, I carry on. Thanks guys.
Okay, now that uh, we support the main beam, uh, I'm gonna put some rib, some ribs on the side to support it too. Because, uh, like I said in the past, it snows a lot. So the technique I'm gonna do is, uh, you can come closer so people can see. So we saw about a quarter to half inch of the wood, and then you get your axe and you split that piece out and I kind of make a little curb like that and that will support the that's gonna make the wood not not the slip because it's kind of curved so this one way to do it is with the axe and the other way to do it is with your large blade which I was saying always why uh, you need a bigger blade. So we made our saw cut to about a quarter. We take our knife and we start working it. Down. To get the same result with the ax, maybe, I don't know. Uh, some people like this method more than, uh, than the axe. This is bushcraft, guys. It's not bushcraft making little pot hangers and okay. You gotta be able to. When they say, "Oh, I need a bigger knife to make shelters," what do you think they mean? So same result, I'm gonna work it a little bit and then you have this here The SK is amazing for that. But this is pretty good too. And you can drop. And you can, and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take my bark. But I gotta find a better wood. This is a little bit too thin. All right. See you guys in a bit. Okay. So that was the the tree I fell earlier. I think it's about, yeah, about six inches, a little bit more, a little bit over six inches. This is the wood. Okay, so I laid the tarp. The tarp I had in mind that I was that was here, and the one that the bear ripped on the last shelter I had. It's not gonna work. <coughs> I'm gonna have to get another tarp. So this is gonna be the bench, bed. Uh, we'll see, I'm, uh, I'm gonna lay some, uh, I'm gonna make it like a bow bed, like spruce boughs on it. <coughs> I'm gonna stake, I'm gonna stake this year and this year. I'm gonna put four stakes to keep the, to keep it pretty sturdy, not moving. Uh, it was a live tree here, so I took advantage of it. I just cut it. I just cut it here, sloped. Just for the, to, to support the, the little trees not going back, the bed be more stable that way. And these are the supports now. Just crisscross, no rope, no nothing. This is in the ground and it's pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere. That's the beam. And in the back, this is a, a tree that fell over like the root is there. So then you have this log here. And this log will support because you have the root ball in the back. And with this log, and the front brace is not going anywhere. 
And then uh, the side, the, the two ribs I said. I might use four, we'll see. That's one, two. It's gonna be on the side. I'm not gonna use any cordage, we'll see how it's gonna be. Might use a couple of nails. But it, you see the size of the storm we had here, right? Threw all the trees down, knocked in. Yeah. So that's how it is, it's pretty thick. That's gonna be the camp. I'm gonna make these, I'm gonna make all those branches like a little wall around me for bears or whatever else. And I think it's gonna be a pretty good shelter here. It would fit uh, a few people. You can put some sleeping bags down. I just need a long tarp. Then I'm gonna use the side, uh, maybe four logs, we'll see, maybe six, we'll see on the side, holding the tarp and supporting it some more. But uh, that's it for today. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time.